we're going to shoot this unboxing with the dogs. Oh my gosh, Bruce! No! <laughs> Good afternoon, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isa Does Tech, where we do tech in your real life in style. And yes, folks, we're doing an unboxing of the real Mi 7, but we're doing it a little differently. Before we start, though, I know that you guys have a few questions. You guys always have questions when these new phone lines come out, and that's good because it's good to be inquisitive, to ask questions, to research, know your facts. So the first question I know you're gonna ask is what is the difference between the Realme 7 and the Realme 7 Pro which I just unboxed earlier this week. A few things I can tell you, the most notable ones being one, they have different displays. The Realme 7 has an IPS LCD display with a 90 hertz refresh rate, yes, versus the Realme 7 Pro with an AMOLED display but that has a 60 hertz refresh rate. This also means that the Realme 7 has a side mounted fingerprint scanner versus the in-display fingerprint scanner on the Realme Pro. This runs on a MediaTek Helio G95 processor and the Realme 7 Pro does not. This thing is power packed literally with 5,000 milliamp power battery power versus the Realme 7 Pro with a smaller 4,500 milliamp power battery power. They have the same rear cameras except this one has a 16 megapixel selfie camera versus the 32 megapixel camera on the Realme 7 Pro. I'm sure there are other differences but those are the most notable ones, at least the ones I personally personally look at. Right, anyway, time to unbox and just a note, I took it upon myself to try something new and decided to unbox with the dogs. And as you know, you guys, I have quite a number of these beautiful, majestic animals. Let's go. Right, so I mean, obviously, they're excited about it. Um, second camera is being shot by the realme 7 pro just in case you guys are wondering so i mean it's technically also a video test for the realme 7 pro oh my god <laughs> ah, look look at this what oh Okay, how are we going to do this? Misty, wait, we are, we're, this is what we're unboxing. Okay. Right, let's do this. Um, from the second camera, you can see I am, in fact, unboxing with my dogs. A lot of dogs, because <laughs> I love dogs. Wait lang, guys. <laughs> how to even. Okay, let's do this. So this is the real me 7, and this is Marnie. So we have the typical yellow box from Realme. We have Realme 7 on the sides are up top and on the back it says wow it's amazing how my dogs are behaving right now. This has a 64 megapixel quad camera setup, a 30 watt dart Oh, screaming it's hard to shoot outdoors. 30 watt dart charge, 5000 milliamp hour battery the very first, if I'm not mistaken, MediaTek Helio G95 gaming processor and a 90 hertz ultra smooth display. Yeah, let's open this up before these guys. Okay, we go. Ow! Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> Morn! Guess we're doing this with one hand. You wanna see? Bruce wants to see the phone. Woo! Welcome to the real me family, Bruce. Yes. So, Bruce, you're putting snot all over it. So we have this, which houses the SIM tray and jelly case. Quick guide, information guide. And then we have the phone, which I will put aside first. Let's check out what else is in the box. Oh my gosh, Bruce! No! I know, I know that we never read this, but oh my god, he was eating. Bruce! No! Bruce, stop! Right, before we were so rudely interrupted by, you know, my dog's, I'm gonna call it curiosity. We have here a power brick. We also have the cord that is a USB. See. Right, now on to the phone. The back actually tells us that this has two SIM slots and a micro SD port. Let's open this up. 
that's so pretty wow i really like how this looks i'm sorry but i think i'm gonna pick this over the realme 7 pro because wow i mean obviously they're pretty similar they have the same matte back they have that lining and the way the light hits the back but this white version just looks like it's a fairy or something the camera module on here is thinner. On this side, we have a power button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner. So that I think is one main difference. The other phone, the Realme 7 Pro, has an in-display fingerprint scanner. At the bottom, speakers, USB-C, audio jack. On the other side, volume buttons and the SIM tray. And that is a clean top. And time for a montage. Let's do it with the dogs. What is that noise? Right, give me a second. I think that montage turned out like really nice, but here is literally what is going on behind the scenes. Bruce is cute, but also what is Bruce doing? Here we go, folks. Side mounted fingerprint scanner. That's the real me UI. And ooh, the refresh rate on this thing. So it has an IPS LCD panel, but this has a faster refresh rate. Yeah, so that has a 90 hertz refresh rate. Let's put it at that so you guys can see how good this is uh, that's great for people who like gaming who notice stuff like that but again for people like me it seems faster it's cool but i guess not having 90 hertz isn't a deal breaker depends on preference you guys let's not force the things we want on others hmm. lesson in tech and in life camera tour time hello okay do not mind my hair i was outside playing with the dogs in the heat so i showered fresh <laughs> so under photos we have wide Ooh. 1x 2x 5x oh that's pretty clear it says 64 megapixel camera well 64 ai camera and then 10x Ooh, did you see how that focused here we have the beauty oh look at my face no not yeah just a little bit is good and then as you can see there's portrait so there's ai in this camera you have flash hdr chroma boost and for realme chroma boost is sort of something that gives it that brighter color and then here we have all the different filters and yeah just like on the 7 pro we have these new ones and on the right we have the portrait mode oh obviously it detected my face so fast you can change around the percentage of blur in the background different filters can we zoom in or out no we cannot we have a 64 megapixel mode again the main camera on this thing is 64 megapixels but it shoots smaller photos using pixel binning it's supposed to be better long explanation on that in this video you also have what is this a pro mode on 64 megapixel you have all the different settings and then under more you have time lapse ultra macro mode best quality at 4 cm you also have google lens slow mo 240 fps you can do 120 fps as well you have a pro mode iso 100 to 6400 shutter speed of 1 over 8000 to 32 seconds oh you can also shoot in raw and finally pano mode okay so let's move on to the other side we have video we have a wide ultra wide 1x 2x high 5x and can we zoom up until 
that next? Yes. Whoa, look at how clear that is. Right. So up here we have flash settings. Again, a fill light option. You have the ultra steady mode and then the ultra steady mode max. Ultra steady mode max is wider than the ultra steady mode. Does it crop? It does crop a little bit, as you can see. And then we have filters, <laughs> video resolution of 1080p with 60fps, and you have also 4K capabilities. Is there a beauty mode on video on the rear cameras? It does not seem like it. On to the night mode, we have wide, 1x, 2x, 3, no wait, 5x, up until... 10x we have the starry mode and i've tried this i forget which realme phone i'll link it also here so you can check it out up here we have the different filters we have sizing option and then timer for night mode this mode has wide 1x 2x 5x and up until 10x and finally we move on to the selfies. So this has a beauty mode and as you can see, I've already set it to my preferred settings. Just a little bit of smoothening. Everything else I take out. I do a little bit of touch up and 3D. So like I always say girls, like enjoy the beauty mode. Just make sure that you use it to enhance your face, your own features. Nothing wrong with your bare face, but sometimes it's also fun to dress yourself up. On video, can we zoom in or out? No, we cannot. You have the different filters here. There doesn't seem to be like video beauty mode so that's one thing selfie video shoots on 1080p on photo we have the beauty mode again i like that the settings carried over from the night mode when we adjusted it and up here we have flash settings we have hdr all the different filters again no zooming in or out under portrait mode we have the blurred background we have the beauty mode although now it looks as if the settings didn't carry over and then we can adjust up here finally under more you have slow-mo for selfies also pano and time lapse right it's time for some samples and yes you're gonna see more dogs that folks was our real me 7 unboxing camera tour and some sample shots let me know what you guys think about this phone and if you want to see me do a camera vlog test let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see how i use my tech on a daily basis you can find me online that's at isa does underscore until next time